Hey everybody, it's Mary at Yard Art R Us. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm going to come on tonight and show y'all how to paint the sombrero bird. I base coated him a few days ago, and so he's kind of got some dust and uh, I guess you could say pollen and dirt on him, so I'm gonna clean him off. And what I did on this guy is I base coated him twice in red. Started with red. And uh, then I came along and did the yellow on top of the red, and I did reindeer brown on top of the red, and this is this blue is number five brilliant. So I started with the base coat of red, let it dry. Base coat it again, red, let it dry. Then I came back and put the yellow, the blue, and the brown on top. So tonight I'm going to do some shading. It's not gonna be a long video because this guy's not very big. And so when you have a piece like this, one of the things I try to do if I'm gonna do any shading is use one of my smaller brushes. So. Hi, Kim. Hi, Debbie. Hey, how are y'all? Heidi um, Bruno said hi. Hi, Heidi, how are you? I'm glad you're here. He Heidi's been hanging out with us quite a bit. I'm hoping, Heidi, you're learning some stuff. Okay, I've got to roll up my sleeves, y'all. <laughs> this is my poor, I guess you could say, painting sweatshirt. But if I don't roll up my sleeves, the, the Fabric gets down here on the wet paint, and that's not good. Miss Debbie shared everywhere. Oh, thank you, Debbie. Debbie always takes good care of us because she knows we, we don't know what we're doing. We don't always take good care of ourselves. Why would be without your darkies? I don't act as ridiculous. Well, the, everybody who knows me knows that I have critters. That's just the way it goes. So hey, notice darling. I just kind of didn't. I didn't try to shade both sides of the feathers. This is not a very big piece. You start trying to shade both sides of those feathers, it's gonna be nothing but shading. So, what is the dogs doing, Connie? I can hear them under the table being bad. Miss Debbie gave me, gave me my own special hello. Ah. Hi, Miss Debbie. Hey, Sandy. How are y'all doing tonight? It's raining here, y'all. The weather's kind of yucky, yucky, yucky. Heidi said that she got the bunny cut out. Oh, you so did, Heidi. Heidi? Now, Heidi, you gotta make sure when you get it finished that you Send us some photos, uh, post some uh, photos, because I sure love to see what y'all are doing. Hi, Mary Catherine. It sounds like you guys are hanging out with me a little bit tonight. I um, have been doing all kind of stuff the last couple of days, and um, a good friend of mine suggested that I, because I was telling her I need to start an exercise program, and she thought it would be a good idea. Hey, 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 cut it out, Sheba. You're going to get in Hi, trouble. Lady. You're going to get in trouble. She looks real worried. She, she's, y'all, these dogs are <laughs> ridiculous. Um, and anyway, my friend suggested that I go to this Pilates class. Y'all, can I just say it was not good. Of course I did, and of course I tried, mm -hmm. and of course I, you know, put my best foot forward, all that kind of stuff. But it was not a pretty sight. My legs and uh, everything are still hurting, so I, I don't know. I'm gonna go back hey, again uh, tomorrow if I don't die in the meantime. It is possible I could be dead by the end. You think you're gonna die? I could, I could. My muscles are like, what are you doing? Where, what is your problem, you know? Cause anytime you do something that you're not used to doing, at my age anyway, uh, it's just not, it's not gonna go real easy. I was telling her as hard as she works, I'm surprised she's sore at all. <laughs> Hi Ava. Ava, how are you doing? We're working on shading. Just yeah, I'm gonna do a little bit of shading on this little sombrero guy. Not a whole lot. He's not a big enough guy to do a whole lot with. But I tell you, the shading does make a difference. Y'all, I was thinking about this today because you know how in life hey, Karen. we always want to be good at everything, or I do. I'm sure y'all feel the same way. And I was thinking today when I was at this Pilates class. Because, y'all, when I tell you I had no clue what I was doing, I was like a lost goose. <laughs> and the teacher was trying her best to help me, and she was very nice. Hi, Joyce. And she was a good teacher. Hey, Joyce, how are you? And I was thinking today, you know, think about painting and how much I've painted over the years and how that's second nature to me and that people who watch my painting videos, you know, they are probably thinking, well, yeah, it's easy for her. You know, she's been doing it all these years. And I was thinking today, you know, I was at this Pilates class thinking, this is how a lot of folks feel when they see me shading, you know, because I was like out of my element, y'all. It was not good. 
I had no good form all, and not, there was a lot of people there. Hey, y'all cut it out right now. Y'all, that's my dogs. They're just acting ridiculous. Well, part of it is they don't like the weather. Stop laughing, Connie. The elk are all coming over here because they're scared of the noise they made. So they make noise. I don't know. If, Y'all can tell my dogs are not the brightest dogs. They make noise and they scare themselves with the noise that they make. I can't laugh and scare the phone at the same time. <laughs> so I was thinking today how I was doing this Pilates class and this is how people feel when they're trying to learn how to shade because, you know, the, I, I went today and I was talking to the lady and, and it was my introductory class, right? And then I, there was a class that was for everybody. So then I went to that one too. That's probably part of my problem trying to go to two in one day. But anyway, uh, and she said to me, y'all, she said, well, Mary, you know, you're whatever you put into this class is what you're going to get out of it. Hmm. And I just kind of shook my head and said, yes, ma'am, you're saying I have to put the work in. <laughs> She's like, yeah, that's kind of the way it goes. And I was like, yes, that's kind of how life works. You just have to put the work in and it'll get there, you know. Uh, so if I, if you read of my untimely demise, you'll know it's from my <laughs> exercise that I've been trying to do, y'all. I'm pretty sure you're not going to die. I, I, well, you don't know. It, it really almost felt that way, y'all. I'm not trying to be dramatic. I'm trying to be serious because I was like, oh my God, <laughs> I exercised for like a, a little over an hour and you would have thought that, you know, I don't know. that I just built the Taj Mahal. Okay, so I shaded the yellow, and notice I'm I'm using a smaller brush. Let's see, this is a probably a number twelve. Hi, Ruth. Hey Ruth, how are you? I'm glad y'all hanging out with me. And what I'm doing is I'm just when you're shading something this small, you have to be careful and don't overdo it. So my brush strokes are not real big, but they can't be because the guy that I'm doing here is not that big of a piece. And when I'm dipping my paint in there, I'm trying to really just dip a little bit of it. And then I kind of just go up and down, down here to make his little, uh, I guess you could say legs, you know. Hey, y'all don't forget, we have um, paint parties coming up this weekend. Yep, we sure do. Let's see, we're doing a spring Easter bunny, bunny party on Friday. I think we still have some openings on that. And a chick Easter egg party on Saturday. Hi, Misty. But look at these tails, y'all. They look so good when you just kind of put a little bit of shading. So I did that Hi, shading. Is that my daughter? She said, you got a new grandbaby coming any day now. You better not be killing over <laughs> over there from Pilates. From Pilates. <laughs> Ashley, I always thought, okay, I'm in decent shape. Nope. Nope, not even close, y'all. Miss yeah. Debbie wants to know if we have any spaces available for the in-person paint parties. We are, yes, we always we do. got room for you, Miss Debbie. I think Debbie signed up for Saturday. Uh, Sheba, stop. Come here, Sheba. Come here and show everybody. This Hi, is Sheba. Sheba. Come turn around. You want to show everybody how good Sheba's been being? This is Sheba, and she's my good girl. She's my good girl. And this is Ellie. You want to come see the camera? Hmm? She ain't good, y'all. She is Don't good. Come here. Come here. This is Ellie. And this is Sheba. And they're both, most of the time, pretty good. Okay. So, it's all right. And this is Bear. Did you get Bear? Make I can't sure. see Bear. Really. Can you see Bear? Come here, Bear. Bear's getting old. Bear's getting old. Okay, y'all go on now. I got to work. Hi, Kathy. Uh, I always tell my dogs when they want to give me a hard time. Look, if y'all want doggy treats, I have to work. So go scoosh, scoosh. <laughs> and you can tell that they really don't scoosh very well. Debbie says, weren't you just yelling at her? And we're all trying to say it, she, how good she is. <laughs> she ain't good. <laughs> hey, uh, well, she's my girl. I'm a, you know, I'm a softy. I can't help it, y'all. Yeah. I love them. Okay, so just in the little bit of time. Oh, y'all, I just saw this. I've been on here. I need to stop talking about exercising and worry about painting. Okay, I got to do this little bit right here, and then I'm ready to outline, y'all. Hi, Myra. Is that Myra? Myra's been uh, telling me she's been struggling with allergies. It's like, ugh. Uh. It's Myra Luna. Is that, is that okay? Myra that, that that's a here? Okay. It's a different Myra, but that's hi, Myra. okay. Uh, hi, Myra. How are you? Okay, so I got a little bit of that uh, shading there, and now I'm going to just go with... A script liner and I, this is where this is probably one of my favorite parts y'all because when you start doing this you can really start to see this finished piece right what's it really gonna look like when you get it all done and I'm just kind of going even though I still have some wet paint with that shading 
kind of going in here. I'm going to still just go, keep going. Ashley's telling us that she's on uh, bed rest. Mm -hmm. Trying to keep baby girl in for three more weeks. Yep, and she's been, Ashley's been doing good as far, most of the time, I think, as far as the bed rest thing. So I call her sometimes and I can tell she's bored. <laughs> 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 but it won't be long, and it'll be so worth it when you hold that baby girl. So I'm gonna kind of come down. I, I always do the mouth, the inside, like the void part is black. And then of course this is his tongue right here. In fact, I think this is one of the pieces that I'm doing for Ashley because she just could not get to it being on doctor's orders and all of that good stuff. So I told her to give it to me and I'll do it. Tick said she's very, very bored. Yes, I I'm, I'm, can imagine. Mm -hmm. How could you not be? But at least he didn't put her on total bed rest. Like, she can get up and do a few things here or there, you know. But she just has to be very careful with that. You have to tell us what you're using on your skin because your skin looks so clear. I don't know. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> that's the trick. I put on some olive oil at night, but that's it. Just for a moisturizer. So notice I'm just kind of coming in here off his feathers. And I'm just script linering that the edges, right? Hi, Christine. And I'm coming back and I'm kind of going down here like that. So I know, you know, just like I was saying earlier before I got sidetracked, y'all, even using the script liner, those of you that are learning to use it, I was doing Pilates today thinking, this is the first time I've ever done that. And so when I tell you they were wanting me to move my body in a very unnatural way to me, this is very unnatural simply because I'd never done it before. And the teacher, you know, she had to throw in, which she was totally right. She gave me the little speech about, you're gonna get out of this what you put into it. And she's right, you know. Uh, so anytime you're trying to learn something, I t here's what I had to tell myself. Of course I wanted to do it right, and I wanted to be good at it, which I was not. I had to tell myself, give yourself a break. Hi, Dee. And Miss Ava wants to know if you're covering up the shading color. Yes, sometimes I do that. You can't help but cover that up when you're coming along on top with a uh, script liner. But yeah, that's, the, and not only will I cover up some of that shading, I'll take this black and I'll just kind of come over here and just put some strokes in there. I don't do a lot of that because y'all know I'm going to come back with white and put more, you know, more white strokes in there. And it's just taking that script liner. And we did get, y'all, we did get more script liners and brushes. I know we've been out of them for a while, but we just put some more into inventory, I think, on Sunday. The, uh, the order came in. So Paula and I were working on that on Sunday. So we now have script liners because uh, we have been out of those for a while. And we have some other brushes that we've been out of. The script liner, I will tell you, is going to make your life... At first, it's going to make your life kind of crazy because you're going to be trying to learn how to use it. But if you can master that, <clears throat> and if you can master the shading, there's absolutely no kind of painting that you can't do. You can do whatever you want. And speaking of, you know, doing stuff, uh, I uh, got in touch with Victoria the other day, and I asked her, I said, because Victoria and I both taught school, and then uh, I said, do you ever get tired of being the teacher? Do you feel like being the pupil and going with me to learn at this paint class that they're having, a Donna Dewberry class? And she's so, we're going in October, and she's like, Mary, I am so excited to go. And I was Aww, like, I am too. I'm so jealous. Yeah. So, so now, y'all, Donna Dewberry, she pioneered something called the one stroke. And I've been, for years, I've wanted to go and study. I'm not studying under her, but want a certified instructor in that um that process and uh, it's here in Texas. So, and they travel here, there and yonder and have certain classes and stuff. So I'm super excited about that <clears throat> because yes, I can shade and I can blend, but she has something called a one stroke where like, if you Google it, you'll see it. The stuff you can do, she, you get, you have, you learn how to put multiple colors all on one brush. Like right now, I can do two pretty easy or one, mm -hmm. but I think you can do three with hers, but you gotta have a certain brush. And then when you've got three colors on that and you kind of start making flowers and they look gorgeous. Now, I don't I know how to do that, 
But in October, uh, Victoria and I are going to go be the pupils and not the teachers. And she's going to teach you uh, how to do some really incredible looking faces. Right? Yes. Yeah. I can't wait. I know. I'm so excited about it because, um, well, obviously it's something I'm interested in, right? But it's also, you know, it's like whenever you paint or you do anything and you get to learn from somebody else that brings something totally different to the table than what you're used to doing. It's like, you know, I guess people, if you cook a lot and you get to meet a chef or something like that, mm -hmm. it's exciting. And that's that's how I feel about it. And of course, I've been on cloud nine about it. And I tell Bruce all the time, I'm so excited. Isn't it exciting? And he's like, oh yeah, yeah, real exciting. <laughs> Miss Debbie says, are you actually using black to outline? It is, in this brown? case, uh, good question, Debbie, because I know the camera doesn't see it very well. It is black. I've watered it down quite a bit because I don't want big, big, heavy strokes on this guy because he's so little. But yes, it is black. So Victoria and I will be going to McAllen, Texas in uh, October for several days. I think we're going to be there two full days. That's going to be so awesome. Yeah, we're excited. And hopefully we're going to learn something and bring it back and teach y'all. Yay. Hopefully. Your cousin Kathy said that this guy is really cute. He is cute, isn't he, cuz? I agree. He's kind of simple. There's really, you know... Not a, I think the hat to me just kind of makes him extra cute instead of just a bird, you know. And notice over here on the top of the feathers, I didn't put a lot of brush stroking or shading on these tops, right? Just kind of leave that. I'm going to put some white on there because it, it's a small area, so I'm going to be cautious about how much paint I put on there. All right, so I'm going to come over here and do this. I guess you could call these his toenails. Hi, Marsha. And we're gonna kind of go like that. So he's got two toenails here, y'all. Um, then I'm just gonna outline his skinny little legs. Skinny little legs, right? And then this is his foot, and that's his. And then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna put some white on this stuff, y'all. It's just downright cold today, y'all. It is, It here it's been, it has been gross weather as in cold wet and rainy but you know it, it's part of the life and they say we're, we're uh we need rain that uh we're in a drought i, I don't know if that's Hi, true Jamie. but that's what they say okay and i'll put one little stroke in here there we go and i see a little spot i missed right here there we go okay now i'm gonna wash that out I got my script liner in my hand. I'm gonna wash it out over here in this water. And then I'm going to get some white. Y'all, he is cute. I like this he little guy. Cutie He's pie. precious. He is precious. Um, so y'all, I'm going to Pilates again tomorrow and I'm sure <laughs> for the next whatever time I go, I'm gonna feel like a dum-dum. I don't even know what the equipment is. I'm like trying to, one thing about me, I was a teacher, and of course I was in school a lot. I know to look around and see what everybody else is doing. And the lady, the teacher goes, you're not supposed to be watching everybody else. So I was like, oh, sorry. My <laughs> I thought I was gonna be clever, y'all, and watch everybody else and she's do what they did. She's used to knowing how to do everything. Yeah, yeah, and it's like, and she's like, no, nah, I don't want you watching other people. I was like, okay. Now in her defense, she was a good teacher. She was right there with me. So she was trying to help me. See, I'm just taking some of that white and it's not even, uh, a ton of it, right? And I'm just, where do you know or how do you know where to put the white? You put the white where there is really no other paint of, available to you except for the base coat, right? So I just kind of go on the base coat paint. And show us how to steer that because it looks like a wet noodle. You showed me before. All right, so the steering, that's a good question. I'm put a little more paint on here. So when you want to steer, you steer by your elbow, mm -hmm. not your fingers. So if you want to come down, you make your elbow come down, your whole arm. Gotcha. You steer like this. So don't push with your hands. No, you don't do anything with your fingers except hold it. Gotcha. In other words, the, the fingers are not pushing the brush up and down. If the fingers are pushing the brush up and down, I mean, I guess you could do it that way, but I've not ever had any not, luck. Not very well. So the, 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 the issue is you just go wherever you want it to go. You steer it by moving that 
you're bending that elbow. And if you're painting like this, you're not gonna get it. You want to do this, which which is why my shoulder's probably so 80 years old. So don't try to use old. a pen, like you're using a pencil. No. That's mm -hmm. why I've never gotten that. No, it's not a pencil, it's not a pen. And uh, I understand that we all do that because we're, you know, we all know how to write with a pencil and a pen, so I get it. Uh, but that's not really gonna help you in this case. So I'll just come in here and put a little bit of white here, a little bit of white there. Does anybody have any questions? Be sure and ask us if you need, if you wanna know anything. Hi, Sean. Oh, y'all, he's cute. Let me turn him around so y'all can see him better. Now, notice over here on his stomach, I did not outline that yellow. I really like that yellow with no outline out there because it makes it really bright. You definitely could outline it in black if you wanted, but I don't, I just didn't want to do that. And then I'll come down here on these tails and feathers, I'm sorry. I'll just kind of, and then on this one. And Kimberly said to tell you she sent you an email. Okay, I'll make sure and read it. I'm gonna come over here. Come over here. Now we gotta go over here to his little bitty bitty feet. I'm just putting up now. I I'm gonna come in here tomorrow and outline those claws, but they're they're black and they've got a lot of paint on there. If I put the white in there right now, all that's gonna happen is it's just gonna be a mess. Gotcha. So tomorrow I will come in there and I'll put it. See, I even got a little bit in there. I'm not sweating the small stuff. I'm going to come over here and just kind of wipe that off a little bit and put a little bit more paint on here. And then I'll come on. So tomorrow when I do his little claws, I can come right back over this, this white stroke that's got black in it. Y'all, he's cute. And he's there's really not a lot to him. So he's our sombrero bird. And he has uh, 4701 is the item number if y'all decide you want to buy him at the store. We have some. And he is super cute. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us. We have a Friday night party of um, the Spring Bunny Vertical. We have some openings. And we have a Saturday night party of an Easter chick egg. We'll talk to y'all <coughs> later. Bye-bye.